The vaccine rollout continues at a better pace, changing lives as we pass one year since the start of the pandemic. And we have come a long way since then, thanks to vaccine and everyone's hard work. But Washington health officials say the state could use more vaccine to fill its need. Washington expects to get 345,000 doses a week from the federal government through early April. That's 110,000 less than providers are requesting weekly. The demand could be met after that as the federal government increases deliveries nationally to 30 million doses a week. Breaking that down, that means about 600,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccine should be coming here to Washington state each week in April. So far, 2.5 million doses have been put into arms in Washington. The state is now easily meeting its 45,000 dose a day goal. And it is paying off for seniors with more than 66% now with at least one dose and more than 40% fully vaccinated. The decrease in hospital admissions is steepest in the oldest age groups, age 70 plus. And we believe that may have been related to the, the increase in vaccinations in that age group. But Dr. Umer Shah says there is much more to do. As the state gradually opens up restaurants, gyms and other businesses, a downward trend in new cases and other metrics is flattening out now. And for some, the cases are climbing. The state health officer had a message for 20 to 40 year olds who are more likely to be working and unvaccinated. You are the age group that is driving the early uh, increase in cases. So please be mindful of wearing a mask and social distancing and getting vaccine when you're eligible. Washington state has had 331,109 confirmed cases of the coronavirus, and it has recorded 5,156 deaths. But we are not out of the, the woods yet. We need to continue to move forward in a direction that is going to finish this pandemic off when we truly finish this pandemic off we're not there yet tim gordon kgw news